time today. So today when you're racing, what time are you kind of shooting for with your car? So that's the interesting part of my car. My car does really well on the street. Uh, it's all-wheel drive. As we bring it to the track, it runs good. But the difference is, is I'm pretty much turned up on the street and the track, so I run mid fours. Those guys run mid to high fours on the street, which sometimes are faster than them. But on the track, they can take their 5,000 horsepower motor and really turn it up. So it kind of puts me at a disadvantage. But again, it is my hometown. It is my home track. So I got a little bit of advantage, I feel like. So we're just excited to see, get out there and see what happens. I'm John Odom, family man, entrepreneur, race car driver. This is Behind the Scenes, Street Outlaws. No prep kings.
Moving funny, so I been holding strap. Not playing defense, we been on the attack. Plotting the scheme, and how we gon' get it back? Designer all on you, but you can't buy the swag. No mirrors, those fufu, see the tag. You can bet if I'm spending this, cause I get it back. I'm fighting, you doubt it, you see the lag. All I ever wanted was to have it all. That close, never froze, had to risk it all. As a little boy, I wish I was a little tall. Never made the league, I find other ways to let me ball. I don't know, you know, it, it's everything happens for a reason, I guess. Obviously, we don't want to run John first round, but we got a brand new motor, a new combination. Um, and this might be the might be the brake that I really needed so that we don't have to run the car as hard. Not taking anything away from John's GTR, it's fast. Um, and anything can happen in a drag race, and we may very well see that, but we'll be able to put a, we're not gonna put an on-kill tune-up in the thing just so we can get a good plug read and hopefully make this thing happy. It sounded good when we warmed it up, so um, we kinda, I mean, we kinda needed a decent chip draw. I didn't wanna draw John, but um, you know, either way, it's data for both cars, and tomorrow's what we're really after, so. Hopefully it'll go well. Number eight, I uh, got paired up with Chris Varney. If you know anything about small tire, you'll know he's probably the fastest guy in the country. If not, yeah, he's no joke. So he, uh, we're gonna take a run at it, see how it goes, and uh, probably go home early and have a date night. 